Hey, what's up guys? It's BND Gaming here, and before we start this update video, uh, I just want to say that um, if you want to subscribe to our channel, feel free to. Um, we make good content, and we will post at least twice a week, so let's get right into this. Alright, so uh, the first unit we are going to start with is the uh, new metal cooler unit. Now, this will be one of the strongest categories, the uh, Frieza Clan category. It's 170% across the board, which I'm pretty sure only a couple other category leaders have. I believe it is. Uh, believe it is just this unit here, and then I believe the global exclusive uh, Tech Universe Six uh, hit. Yeah, the only two characters, this hit and the cooler, are the only two characters that have 170% uh, leader skill across the board. Yeah. So whenever we get down to his passive skill, uh, we can see that he's going to be uh, equally. Uh, attack and defense, but then he gets a slight uh, attack boost whenever he's attack or uh, whenever he is attacked, and uh, he also recovers uh, after he receives an attack. So that's good for the uh, extreme types. Now you can't forget about how when a unit transforms, now the potential system activates too, so his giant form will be hitting for a lot of damage. Yes, and we're gonna get down to that. So once he transforms, uh, he fuses with. Uh, the big G star and uh, he gets a SA multiplier by 50% and it just allows him to hit for an immense amount of damage. His team can be really good but there's very few units in it so it's it's hard to run. Yes it's a very specific type of team. Alright so the next unit we're going to go into is the uh, new Goku Black. This Goku Black is the, I believe, the third transforming unit in terms of turns or things like that. He's the Time Traveler uh, Leader, category uh, plus three in HP, Tech, and Defense, 150% across the board. He also has Extreme Int, uh, Key plus three, and then HP, Attack, and Defense plus 90%. For some reason, you do not have that Kid Boo. Uh, this is a very nice unit because you have the ability to run him with the uh, STR. Uh, Goku Black since he uh, starts out as uh, just a base form Goku Black. Now his conditions to transform is six turns which we didn't talk about the coolers I'm pretty sure is 50% health but this uh, this uh, Goku Black is six turns which actually takes a while kind of like the transforming Goku. And that is honestly the biggest uh, downfall of this unit. This unit is a wonderful unit it's even better when he transforms, however, because it is six turns, it is very hard to get his transformation off since teams in this game are so strong right now, and Doken events just simply are not hard enough to last six turns unless you intentionally force the, uh, the event to go six turns. Yes, and it gets even harder because you have to have uh, HP above 80% after the six turns of battle, so that's a very specific requirements, but for a very strong card. Now, he does have a 50% chance to hit, or to critically hit, once he transforms, so that helps a lot. And as yes, well, he's also right. a great support as he supplies his extreme class allies with, key, with three key. Yes, which is incredible, because if you can link him up with the uh, strength, uh, Rosé, you'd be getting off a whole lot of supers on that team. Alright, so now we're going to uh, jump into the easy A section of this video. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the STR, and the Tech easy A's. Now these are just easy A's that they had to get out. In my opinion, they're not the best, but they do upgrade the unit, which I guess is the whole point of an easy A. So this Vegeta with his easy A, his passive skill goes up and he gets uh, th three more turns of his defense and he can hit a little bit harder. Yes, which uh, Browse and I here disagree with Ben. We both think that he is a phenomenal unit and that uh, he is a very good unit for uh, the super strength. Team. As, as well as going with that, his super attack here, it goes from supreme damage to immense damage. And it also has a, has also as long as well as pre-EZA super attack has a high chance to stun the enemy. The great thing is, is that once he gets to level 140 and gets his full <laughs> EZA, he gets a attack plus 120% when attacking a stunned enemy. So a good team composition with him, if you put him on super strength, you pair him up with a Jiren, and because of Jiren, uh, the enemy will get a guaranteed stun, and then you attack with uh, this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta with this new EZA, and he will hit for a lot of damage. Yes. He's basically super battle road falter. Yes. Fodder. Falter. 
so now we're going to jump into the uh, tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And he has a very similar uh, passive here. Uh, but it's just different conditions. As you see, it's 120% uh, when key is 10 or more, and his is 120% uh, when the enemy is stunned. So personally, the, the Tech <clears throat> Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is easier to get off the 120% uh, when 120% uh, attack boost because getting uh, key above 10 or more nowadays with leader skills and links are super easy However, the strength of uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is just overall a better unit But like I've said the uh, super tech team is already so loaded and it has so many good units that I feel like this EZA is just kind of down the drain The strength one is a lot better All right, so now we are going to jump into the uh, extra ultimate Gohan EZAs so uh, the physical one in my opinion is better just because it is a better overall unit and uh so what it does here uh you see as it gets uh, it gets a nice attack boost but the defensive boost is very nice for it because that was a big issue the unit had when it originally came out because as we can see the defense is getting 120 percent when hp is 80 percent or above and he gets an additional defense plus 40 percent and performs a critical hit only once when HP is 79% or below. So he is overall more of a defensive unit, so he can tank very well now. Um, so basically, if you're having, if you're at low health and you want to chance the, uh, that you're below 80%, you get about a defense boost of around 160%, and you get a guaranteed critical hit off of him. Now, the thing I'll say about the Ultimate Gohan EZAs is these units have been out for a long, long time. So if you don't have one, or at least a dupe of one, then, I mean, sorry about you, but everybody should be able to do this easy a and at least have a decent unit yep all right so now uh the agl ultimate gohan has uh, it's a incredibly similar uh passive skill uh you still a very defensive unit and then gets the uh defense the same exact way as uh the physical unit he has the same thing as the critical hit only once also so yes. it's it's just another unit to have. Yes, he's just not getting the added key in his passive, so that makes him worse than the physical uh, Ultimate Gohan. Uh, nothing too special here in these two units. Uh, it's just the INT one is much better. So, All right, now we're getting into the uh, uh, INT cell. Now, this is actually a pretty good uh, unit here after his easy a he's a uh, he's a pretty optimal unit on the extreme int team uh, As you see here he has a g Equal attack and defense boost and he also uh, Recovers 20% of your health whenever you get to that 30% or below so he's pretty clutch in that moment if you're out of items and you're running let's say a very difficult event he could be great for a uh, for Super Battle Royale run, possibly, because say you were on the last stage. I know everybody has been in this situation where you're in, when you're on the last stage and you need to heal up some just to survive a little bit through, the, through that last turn. And uh, you don't have any more items and you realize that you might be screwed because you don't have your healing item for you. And he can come in clutch, as Drew said, and get you some health and give you enough health to survive a couple attacks and maybe get the final blow on the last boss. Now, if you look at it, his super attack also greatly raises his uh, attack. So that can help him out a bunch too. Yes, that's very nice. All right, so now we are going to move on to the uh, Goku Jr. The free-to-play easy is. Yes. Uh, so this card has a, it, originally it has a very strong attack, but his greatest downfall was his passive, where he had defense minus 40% when he performed a super attack. That just destroyed this card and made him completely uh, unusable. Now, uh, as you can see, it com his uh, easy A completely gets rid of that passive and restarts him with an added key, and uh, he gets attack plus 60% when performing a super attack, and a great chance of attack and defense plus 60%. So instead of what they ended up doing with the pre-easy A passive skill, they completely cut out the defense minus 40%, and they ended up giving him a great chance of getting 60% attack and defense when performing a super attack which which by all means boosts this unit up to a very high level i really like the direction doken's heading with the free-to-play units yep. from when we were early on playing the free-to-play units just weren't worth it even with lr goku and now they're making them easier to get and they're hitting a lot harder okay. which helps a lot of people yep. especially with uh just like the uh goku and vegeta uh movie event free-to-play characters they are 
They're two very good characters that can easily fit on an optimal Super AGL or Super Tech team. They are spectacular units indeed. All right, so now we are going to go on to the uh, Vegeta Jr. EZA. Now, I believe this one is the better than the Goku Jr. And that is because when uh, you get down to it, uh, his passive is just stronger. It's no, There's no chances. It's just... It's, it's clear facts that uh, whenever he gets attacked for five turns, he has uh, key plus two and attack plus 50%. Overall, head and, head and heels above uh, the Int Goku Jr. Uh, simply because his passive skill is not, as Drew said, it is not based on chance. It is just automatically given to him an attack and defense plus 60%. Yep. Now... His leader skill, for if you ever need a free-to-play hybrid Saiyan leader, and you just can't pull that ultimate Gohan, this will help you a bunch too, with the key plus three, attack, HP, and defense, 77%. Yeah. And as we see, the uh, free-to-play units that are uh, obtaining easy A's, they all have very similar stats here. They aren't anything spectacular, but they're definitely... It's solid. I mean, we're at pretty much 13,000 and then 8,000. Especially for free-to-play units. They're, yeah. they're, they're definitely very yeah, good units to have, especially if you're just kind of starting out and you need some good units to help you out through some newer events, get you some more stones so you can summon some more. They are very optimal, very good units to have. Yeah. All right, so now we're getting Whoa. into the big easy A's here. This is an incredible unit here. This INT Janemba, just, you might as well throw away the STR Janemba at this point yes this guy is one of the most excited i have been for an eza to come up he's one spectacular unit so his uh pre-eza passive skill attack and defense plus 5000 um uh, as we saw with strength gogeta he kind of uh he strength gogeta and uh in janimba both fell out of the meta simply because they had flat boosts uh, flat boost in their passive skills, which were not very good once the percentage boost came out So when they both got when strength Gogeta and Int Janimba both got their uh, their easy A's their passive skills were indeed changed to percentages and that helped them get back into the meta very quickly yeah. uh, And what's gonna be exciting about this card is I know Browse has him rainbowed So we will definitely be getting some rainbow gameplay on this guy once his easy A releases for global now before Janimba could not hit hard at all but after this easy A, I've seen videos of him hitting for 2 million sometimes. It's incredible. And yes. he's an incredible defensive unit. His, this is very good easy His A. stats have grown to many 55% uh, LRs. They are, his, they're incredibly high. His rainbow uh, post easy A stats are pretty much uh, LR stats, which is insane, especially for the age of this unit. Especially for the age of this unit. Um, he has he has aged very well with his new EZA, brought him a new life. Um, so with his uh, his new uh, passive skill from the EZA, he gets a guaranteed attack and defense plus 70%, which will allow him to hit hard and tank well. Uh, his guard is activated against all attacks, which is phenomenal because even if you get attacked by a physical enemy, it doesn't matter because he has his guard activated at all times. And he's even got a medium chance to evade enemy's attack thrown in there. That's taken straight from the strength, Gogeta, and it is a wonderful passive skill to have. This is the best defensive unit in the game. He can dodge and he can defend. And he can attack. Alright, now we are going to get on to my personal favorite, Easy A. I'm very excited for this tech, Beerus because it makes a uh, transforming unit incredibly good. Uh, so as we see here, I'm just gonna skip down straight to when he uh, goes rage. He becomes so strong. Like the attack at rainbow is 27,000. That is incredible. Uh, as we see here, uh, he greatly raises attack for one turn. Uh, he causes immense damage uh, once he uh, enrages it's he's just an incredibly strong unit now he doesn't link well with a lot of units unless you have the lr beers which is his best friend and that is a great pair to have but if you can find a way to supply him key he will be a great unit to have on your team as well with his super attack he goes from his pre eza he goes from a supreme damage and lowers defense after his ECA, he gets uh, bumped up to immense damage, which is an, an increase in the damage modifier, and he also greatly lowers defense now. He's a good unit. Yes, I, I'm very excited for him. All right, now, uh, 
in JP, this guy just released. I, he's a very strong unit, and I am very excited for this guy because he's another free to play, easy A character, but he is head over heels stronger than the Vegeta Jr. and Goku Jr. Yes, this is a unit you need to have. Yes. I've seen videos of this guy hitting for 1.5 million damage as a free to play unit. That is incredible. So with his so with his leader skill, uh, a lot of people do not have Omega Shenron, you know, and Shadow Dragon Saga in and of itself is a very exclusive team. You have to have the right units on it to run the team. And if you don't have Omega Shenron, but you have all those awesome, amazing units, and you just want Omega Shenron to run the team, and you just can't pull him, this free-to-play unit is a great uh, leader leader for the Shadow Dragon Saga with a uh, key plus three and plus 97% stats across the board. Uh, so as we see here in his passive, uh, he get at, per key sphere obtained, he gets attack and defense plus 12%, so he can hit hard and tank incredibly well. And then uh, he gets... Uh, in every rainbow key sphere, he gets uh, key plus two and attack plus 20%. So essentially what that is, is that say you obtain a random key sphere, it'll give you attack plus 12%. And then say you tag on a rainbow key sphere onto that, that would basically be an attack plus 32%. And if you just can continue to stack regular key spheres with rainbow key spheres, the, the attack percentage boost is just insane to think about. Now looking at his links, for a free to play unit he has really really good links. He is prepared for battle, GT, and shattering the limit. GT will help a bunch when he's on the shadow dragon team, but prepare for battle and sh shattering the limits are two of the best links in the game. Alright, uh, so now we are going to go on to the LR section of this video. So. We're gonna start with some free-to-play LRs, and then we're gonna learn, and then we're gonna go on to the big boys that we want to see. All right, so uh, out of my, this is my personal favorite uh, free-to-play LR. Uh, this is just a very cool card. I understand he has just base passive, but it is, I like this card. It is a very good card, especially on the uh, Vegeta's lineage team. Now I'm surprised that they made him an extreme unit. Yes, I am too as well, but. I mean, there's a couple questionable things that Bandai does with Doken. We yeah, can't always get it I, right. I, I'm not complaining. No, I, he's a great unit. I like him. And like as him as Drew said earlier with his passive skill, even though it is just a flat boost with a 15,000 attack and uh, 20,000 defense, he still is able to tank very well on, on, on Vegeta's lineage team, and he's able to hit hard as well. He's just a very great unit in general. All right, so now we are going to move on to the Yamcha and uh, Puar. LR. I, I have nothing to say about this LR. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a world tournament LR, and from our experience, the world tournament LRs are just not good, not yeah. worth it. I mean, I like the design of the card. It's a very pretty design. I love the design of it, but I, we're just going to skip this one. I, I, I'm, I'm tired of talking about it. You know, you know, it's, it's Yamcha. Yamcha. You know, right. Bandai's done some questionable things with Yamcha in the past with some April Fool yeah. stuff. It's just a fun thing to do with them. Okay, like, on this B pan you're gonna start seeing the active skills which will come around year four anniversary. Yes. So we're into the year four anniversary area and the active st skills are what gets introduced and I'm very excited for those. Uh, yes, it is very good because she uh, recovers 33% of her damage dealt and as an LR, she can uh, attack even harder than she could whenever she was just a TUR. So if you look at her active skill, it is all allies attack plus 33% for one turn and you can do that three turns in, and you can only do it once. But that is such a good boost for your whole team. So she can really be ran on any team, but you you do want this unit. Yeah. And as we know, B-Pan isn't a very attack-aggressive unit, only sitting at about 14,000 on attack at a uh, rainbow. But the, def uh, but the HP is 20,000. That's a solid boost to any team. Yes, she can especially, take a hit. Yeah, especially the Hybrid Sands. This is a very... This is a good support unit on the Hybrid Saiyans team. Alright, now we're going to go on to uh, Oob LR. Uh, this LR, uh, it's a nice LR, but I'm not incredibly excited about it. I mean, I like the uh, I like the B-Pan more than this one. Now, he does have a decent leader skill for Resurrected Warriors. Yes, he which does. Which does help him it, It's nice bit. to see that they're giving Resurrected Warriors a couple more leaders because... 
I, as for me, I've had no luck pulling the uh, Angel Golden Frieza. He's the Angel Golden Frieza has not been around a whole lot on banners, and to pull him, you have to be pretty lucky. Uh, your your luck's got to be pretty yeah. pretty well with you. Yep. And for a lot of people, this will actually be a very difficult unit to get because you have to get two hundred and fifty thousand of the gems from. Uh, the ultimate clash and it's that's hard i mean for a lot of people that are free to play or just have been very unlucky with uh banners it's that's a tough that's a tough uh thing to ask yeah to get full dupes of him will be it'll be a long process so i mean he's an lr and he's i would say he's worth it and he does transform so yeah, let's get into that the transformation's nice. All right, so uh, whenever he transforms, he recovers 40% HP. That's always good to see uh, these units, get, see some more units get uh, recovery. Uh, there aren't enough of those in the game, I believe. And uh, it's also nice to see that he has a nice solid uh, attack and defense boost. He's getting the even 100% on it. So he's going to be able to output some damage. And of course, as an LR, he's going to be able to defend pretty well. And much like LR Gogeta and LR Vegito, um, when he collects key uh, that are Rainbow Spheres, he gets he gets an extra key from that as well. So it makes getting his super attacks off much, much easier. I love that passive on any unit. It helps so much. Yes, it's great. I love how they're including that on the LRs in uh, today's Doken. All right, so now we're getting on into the good unit. Good, real good LRs. All right. We have so, now moved on from the free-to-play LRs. We're moving on to the gotcha LRs or the pullable LRs. So... This LR Goku Pan and Trunks is uh, an incredible unit. The category, even though it is not very large, it is a very strong category. There are very good units, including uh, the Tech, Frieza, and others like that. It's very strong. Also, with his leader skill, he is the first character to have a key plus four in attack, HP, and defense 170% across the board. Yep, I believe that this will be the new meta for uh, LRs. They're going to start seeing these uh, key plus four and category boosts now. Yeah, now the card art on this is amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. But the super attack with the 18 even, key is oh, even better. It's even better. If you haven't seen it, you need to hop on a video of a fellow Doken YouTuber and watch it. It's incredible. All right, so now we are going to go on to uh, the... LR baby now this is an interesting LR because uh, he transforms I really enjoy the lightning around him personally the black lightning it, it really catches my eye yeah he's very nice so uh, what he does is uh, he has a key plus three and attack and defense plus a hundred percent which is already just great but when there is a pure Saiyans category enemy he gets three more key and attack plus fifty percent and then if there's a hybrid Saiyan uh, enemy, he gets a nut, he gets key plus three and attack plus fifty percent. And uh, the only thing I'd have to say that's a downfall about this card is he just has a high chance to transform whenever uh, his HP is forty percent or below. It's the HP gap, the the HP uh, lifeline, the forty percent or below is honestly just too low. You don't really want to chance yourself getting that low of on health because of how hard Doken events are hitting today. Um, and it's just, his, that whole transforming thing is just kind of a gimmick. Now personally, I've been asking for a Super Baby LR for the longest time, ever since they've had that INT one released. And I'm so happy that we finally have that. Yep. And this guy's got some great uh, links. I mean, he's got Metamorphosis that links with a whole lot of units. Big Bad Bosses, of course. Uh, GT is a great link in Shattering the Limit. That's it, he's a very good unit. And now, I must and I must inquire as well. I'm not quite sure as I haven't caught up on this unit myself, but with his passive, if it if you are facing a pure Saiyans enemy and a hybrid Saiyans enemy, I'm wondering if his key and attack bonuses stack as well. So he Yes, they do. Person. They do? Yes, okay. they do. That's awesome. So technically he could end up getting key plus nine in attack plus 200 percent and defense plus 100 percent when it's all said and done yes he could and that's what makes this unit stand out that is crazy now before we move on to his transformation i do want to say that we haven't been putting dates and stuff onto these past units because you can never tell with doken when they were released stuff 
but you can say with the year four stuff, which we're going over right now, it will come out in July. Yes, yes, in late July, because this will be uh, the LR Baby and uh, the LR Goku Trunks and Pan will be coming out in uh, part two of the year four celebration. All right, so now we're gonna go on to uh, his transformed form. And this unit, I love, absolutely love the art. It just looks incredible with the purple lightning and the uh, yellow aura. It's incredible. If you can't tell, we're a fan of lightning. So. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, so uh, it's great. His uh, passive remains the same, but he gets another, uh, he gets another key. So that's great. That just helps him become even stronger and uh, get off those uh, 18 and 24 key supers. Again, like I said, the potential system, when you transform, still stacks. Yes, and that does. helps out these units so yes. much. 65,000 attack. That's insane. How if you get a super is. off with that, that's and you don't take any damage, It that's just nice. Yeah. All right. So now... We're going to go in Ooh. to two of the best LRs in the game. It's what everybody's been waiting for. All right, we've got LR SS4 Goku. This unit, he's he's a very strong unit. I love how they've been uh, putting in these active skills. They're great. I love how he can attack. He puts out about, it's about 600,000 damage every time you do it. And that's nice for a free attack. And especially if you are lucky enough to pull this guy and the SS4 Vegeta, and you can put out 1.2 million attack. That's nice. Now the thing that's nice about their active skill, even though it's once only, if you're running them on Super Battle Road, besides how much damage they do and how well they tank, their active skill will reset after each round. So you can always have that ready for Super Battle Road. And that goes for, speaking of that whole Super Battle Road and resetting thing, that goes for any unit that has a turn restricted uh, passive skill. It will reset after each battle, so like the Super Saiyan 3 Strength Vegeta, his tanking ability will reset after every single fight. And as we know, he has uh, he is the leader for uh, Goku's lineage. It's a solid HP and attack plus 170% and the defensive plus 130, so he is definitely an attack first kind of unit. And... Of course, we know that uh, Bandai loves some Goku cards, so this uh, this category here has some insane cards in it. And as well with his passive skill, he gets a flat uh, attack boost of 80% and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn up to 80%. So I'm not quite sure how, how that works for some reason. I can't seem to get that through my head. But in addition, he gets an extra two key per rainbow and AGL key sphere obtained. So so with, so with like how it is with LR, uh, Gogeta, and Vegito, they get the extra key from rainbow, so does Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but they've also added that he gets the extra key from AGL. Okay, so Browse, on his passive skill, it's attack plus 80% and his defense is separate. So Go LR Goku has to build up his defense to 80%, while Vegeta has to build up his attack while his defense is already at 80%. Yep. So Goku will be hitting harder first before Vegeta. Yeah, so as we see, he's in uh, the Shadow Dragon Saga, which is incredible. Since he is a uh, just a normal uh, SS4 Goku, you can run him with the uh, tech Goku. And we will uh, show that later on with the team just because this uh, the Shadow Dragon Saga team is just way too good not to show. Alright, so now we're going to go on to the uh, SS4 Vegeta. Now... Uh, unlike his counterpart in the Goku, he is a defensive unit first and then attack second. Uh, much like their, much like the original Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, um, they've kept their they've kept their respective parts as the Vegeta is a tanking unit, more of a defensive unit, while the Goku is more of an attack unit. Personally, I just realized that they switched their typings. The original 120% lead Goku was a strength type and the 120% Vegeta was a uh, AGL type. So that's yes. pretty interesting. Yes, me. that is also interesting. Uh, yeah, so we, you can't ignore these stats. At Rainbowed, that's incredible. I mean, that's, uh, we got 22,000 uh, health, attack at just about 22,000, and the defense, since his, with him being a defensive unit, 13,000 defense is incredible. 
All right, so now that we've uh, showed you all of these units, uh, I, in my personal belief, I believe that uh, the Shadow Dragons team is the best team in the game after the year four anniversary. Okay, so this team has gone from a forgotten category team with not that many units in it to if you have the right units at the end of year four, you will have the best team in the game. And health, defense, attack, it's just all through the roof. It is. So, uh, in my opinion, I would want to run, of course, the LRSS4 uh, Vegeta and the LRSS4 Goku together. And then I, because they are just, they uh, have each other's links. That's just the plain fact about that. And then uh, I'd like the idea of the uh, SS4 full power Goku and the uh, SS4 Gogeta because they activate each other's links very well and they give a nice 25% attack boost to each other. The reason that the reason that these units link up so well together as cuz we have LR Vegeta and LR Goku, they share Super Saiyan, which gives them a 10% attack boost. They share GT, which is 2 key. They share Prepared for Battle, which is 2 key. They share Saiyan Roar, which is 15% attack up, and they also share Fierce Battle, which is attack 15% up, and they share Legendary Power, which is an extra 5000 attack up, which is approximately 45% attack of damage and then we get an extra 5,000 flat boost up that is an insane amount of damage being shared between them And they're both just great defensive units and then you go over to Gogeta and Goku over here and they share Super Saiyan GT fierce battle and Prepared for battle. They just they give out so much key They gave out so much damage and they're just insane pairings to run together I just have to share that I am over here cracking up because I have no idea how Brous just read all of those links in Japanese <laughs> um, let's just say I, I, I knew those links in Japanese because Shadow Dragon's team to this day is my favorite team. I run it all the time still on global even though I don't have the LRs Super Saiyan 4s yet and I'm so stoked for them to come out because it's my personal favorite team and I just know all the links on this set. So let me ask you, how do you feel about Omega Shenron being a floater? I am a little upset. Um, I, I, I pulled hard for Omega Shenron because I knew this team was going to be good when he first came out. Uh, I love the unit as a whole. He gets up some great damage, and he gets a guaranteed second attack, much like Fizz Cooler does. But unfortunately, his his attack is just not near as good as what the pairings of the Super Saiyan Fours can do. Yep. So uh, I personally like to put uh, this uh, Kid Goku in here because he just has the opportunity to hit so hard. But if you really wanted to. You could put the pan in here because she gives the nice attack boost and the nice key boost, so it would be very good yes. if you wanted to use a support unit with, as her. Yes, the pan is, I believe, the only support unit in the Shadow Dragon team offering the 30% attack and defense uh, unconditionally. It's a phenomenal support unit, um, and she's just wonderful in case you do not have the uh, the kid the kid Goku GT. All right, so guys, uh, I wanted to thank you for watching the video if you stuck it out this long uh we hope you found this video informative uh if we'd love your feedback so comment on the videos and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section we'll do our best uh we're always active we're always looking to help out the community hoping you guys uh helping you guys out our viewers we because we prioritize you guys the most remember two videos a week and uh see you guys next time